Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for the week beginning Monday, April 29th, ending Friday, uh, May 3rd, 2019. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. Is this an inverse head and shoulders ready to break out? We'll see. Let's take a look at the major daily charts, then we'll look at the intra-week action. Then we'll talk about the data that's coming out this week, which just in the U.S. alone, there's a lot. Crude oil finally rolled over down 241 on Friday to 62.80. Gold up $8.70 to 1288. The S&P cash gains 13.71, uh, basically at, almost at new highs there on the S&P. The Nasdaq 100 up 9.76, also at new highs. The Sox, Sox down 12.92. Biotech's up 18.19. Finally getting a positive day. The biotechs have not been going anywhere with the market here. Same with the Russell. The Russell 2000 up 16, but it's it's gone nowhere here for the last couple of months. This has been the disappointing part. Is looking at like you know the biotechs do this and the Russell does nothing. It doesn't help the market obviously, even though we've been trying to drift higher on the big indices. Uh, the VIX down 52 cents to 1273. Notice how we held that risk line of that 13 buy signal that's still in place on the VIX. That's the interesting part. Uh, the trend, uh, 0.81, 10-day moving average is 1.05. NASDAQ volume, 1.9 billion shares on Friday. So that's the lightest, except for the Easter uh, holiday of the Monday where we were, the rest of the world was closed. It's the lightest day in two weeks on Friday. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was plus 1021. On the New York, plus 961. Google gains ten dollars and eight cents, almost back to new highs on a cup here. Apple down ninety-eight cents. Netflix gains six point five two. Amazon up forty-eight point three eight, almost back to highs as well. Tesla though down twelve dollars and forty-nine cents. There's the breakdown on Tesla. Facebook down one seventy-seven after gapping up on Thursday. Goldman Sachs also has gone nowhere. The banks have not led this. Uh, a buck sixty-eight. TLT the twenty-year bond ETF. Up 42 cents, and the Dow was up 81. In terms of intra-week action, let's switch this to 10-minute candles. Keep in mind that Monday was bank holiday around the world, even though not here in the U.S. But you can see how bad the volume was on Monday. So a small gap down Monday, filled and filled the gap and closed flat. Basically Tuesday gapped up a little bit and surged, and that's most of your week right there. I uh, got a 13 sell signal basically near the high, and then flattened out for the second half of the day. Wednesday was pretty flat, didn't go anywhere. Thursday we dipped, came back, closed down a couple of points. Friday we dipped, came back, and closed in the last few minutes. Actually, if you look at those last three candles, remember, after the stock market closed. So from that peak on Tuesday till Friday's close is the same number. And then right after the close, the futures pushed up a little bit on Friday. All right, so let's talk about the economic data that's coming out this week. We've got a Fed meeting. We've got some big numbers. Um, it really is kind of an interesting week from that perspective. Uh, PC price index, personal income and spending Monday. Employment cost index an hour before the bell. S&P housing price index at 9. Chicago PMI at 9.45. Consumer confidence and pending home sales at 10 on Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday, we've got the ADP non-farm employment change. Manufacturing final PMI number and ISM manufacturing PMI number along with construction spending. Crude oil inventory is an hour in. Total vehicle sales. Fed announcement at 2 p.m. Eastern time and then the press conference. So remember, we got a two-day Fed meeting Tuesday and Wednesday with the announcement at 2 and the press conference at 2.30 on Wednesday. Challenge of job cuts an hour before the two hours before the bell. Non-farm productivity, initial and continuing jobless claims on Thursday an hour before the bell. Factory orders 30 minutes in. Natty gas an hour in. Treasury currency report. And then uh, we got the weekly... Uh, I'm sorry, we got the unemployment rate, that's the monthly number, and the goods trade balance number, both on Friday. Those are both big. Preliminary wholesale inventories, final services, PMI, and then a bunch of Fed members speaking uh, going into Friday. So, you know, a lot of data, uh, some of its speeches, but the big ones being the Fed announcement, the unemployment rate, and the trades balance number. But there's other good stuff scattered in there. So we'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out. For a couple of weeks, have a great trading.